Hello everybody, Walters954 here, coming at you guys with some more Python coding practices. In the next few tutorials, I'm going to be doing some of the advent of code. So, the advent of code is basically, I guess this website I just found on um, Reddit, and it has like coding challenges for you to just practice uh, your code with. So, I'm here, you start at the bottom, it's like a Christmas tree, Christmas themed. Um, you start at the bottom, they give you two sets of uh, codes or um, problems, I guess, two, a two-part problem that you go through. And you can go ahead and see my answer already. It's it's fine because they give you um, personalized questions, I guess, or personalized input. So I'll get to that part. So I guess we'll just dive right into it, actually. Um, what day one is all about, so basically it's saying Santa Claus is going through a really big apartment and you have these directions in open and closed brackets and for an open bracket or parentheses sorry open paren means go up closed paren means go down so this is go up one floor go down a floor or sorry go up go up go down go down and you'll be back on floor zero you start at floor zero it says here so um, when you're tackling these uh, read through the whole thing they're kinda silly make sure you um, they give you like little tips like this, like you start on floor zero, so it's very good for your initializers. And then um, if you go all the way down, I will uh, get my input here. So I'm going to copy this, open up Python. First thing we're going to need is a variable. Um, let's name this correctly, our directions. I could spell but whatever it doesn't matter that much all right so pasted uh, this long string in for directions and the next thing we're going to need is the floor that we're on so let's just name this floor and I said we started at floor zero which is a little weird but that's fine we start at floor zero and what we're going to need to do is iterate through all of these one by one and as soon as you hear iteration one by one, you're going to think, all right, we're going to need a for loop. So for x is just an arbitrary variable in direction, and that's our syntax for that. Now, the variable x is going to hold whatever index we are. So it's going to do the first index. So let's just show you guys here and just run this really quickly. And you see it just prints it out one by one goes through each individual one until it gets to the end going up and down with the open and close print so with this knowledge and you can do that for any string so this is a long string you can do that um, x print out with this knowledge we're gonna say if x is equal to open open parens we want to increment floor floor equals floor plus one and this is like the old-fashioned way of doing floor plus floor plus one and I'll show you the new way to do it if you say floor minus equals one so it's exactly the same oops skip the step here take this out x equals equals All right, just some fixing. Sorry about that. Anyways, so doing an operation like this and is exactly the same as saying floor, having to explicitly say the floor, the floor variable in there. Floor minus one. I wish you could type minus one. These two are exactly equivalent here. Equals. <laughs> All right, so moving on. The last thing we're going to need to do is uh, print out floor because that should solve the problem. It goes through each individual one, uh, moving floor up and down, and whatever the last one is, uh, that's what it's going to land on. So let's go ahead and print. And it says we're supposed to be on floor 71. So let's just go ahead and check back to see what our answer was. I say 71, I meant 74. So we have 74 here. We got the correct one. Good job, guys. All right, now for part two, it says um, 
we're going to start at position 1 and every time we're just looking for when Santa Claus goes down to the basement for some reason so at floor 0 if we go down 1 that is position 1 where we entered the basement basically so we're going to need a few things for this we're going to need a variable to hold the negative position or to, to hold the basement so let's just call it basement found and we're going to need a counter variable that just says alright we're just gonna go through it each amount of time doesn't even matter so just to show you why we need the counter do count plus equals one and this is how many times our loop is going to be running so if we just print out count and run this our loop is running 7,000 times so that means there's 7,000 characters in this string now it says 7,001 but it's actually 7,000 because we added the one here already and it's just plusing it alright so next up what we're going to do is instead of having basement found start at zero I'm gonna have it start at negative 100 because I automatically know you can't start at negative 100 so I'm gonna kinda of be tricking and going around the problem and saying alright don't change negative one or don't change basement found until we get negative one so this is how I'm pretty much getting around it if basement found equals equals negative 100 I'm basically using it as a stopper and current floor or um, the floor that we're on is equal to negative 1 then I want to change the basement found to equal whatever the floor that we are on and we're going to print out instead of count we're going to print out the basement found Let's run this syntax error if basement oh we're missing a semicolon here so basement found is negative one but this should oh sorry this isn't supposed to be floor we're supposed to be printing out count because that's what the the iteration or like say we find it here the count is going to be at this position here sorry we run this and we get 1795 of course the other one was wrong and let's go back and check our answer 1795 is the correct one so um these are a little bit easy getting used to at least if statements and going over a little more so if you need a rundown all this is doing is saying all right, we're looping through each of these individual ones. And I could actually have done this a, a different way. So take this all out. I kind of just wanted to do it all in one. But I'd say we all we wanted to do was solve the second piece of this. So if we said if floor equals equals negative one, print count. equals to one we're just gonna print out count and we can break out of it because we don't want to run through the entire thing pretty sure I went over breaks but breaks are basically saying if it reaches this point cancel the for loop and just um, cancel the for loop and go to the next statement so let's see if we get 17 1795 right there we don't actually need this either so 1795 as soon as as soon as it found the position in floor or in that position of it then it just stopped and pr printed this out and broke out of the loop it didn't have to run through everything so those are just some quick things going to be running through the rest of these they um they're pretty they should get a little bit harder as they go up so let me know what you guys think make sure to subscribe leave comments down below and uh check you guys later